It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Capital Watu. It's their prior nine. Hopefully I got that kind of right. Um, if I got that kind of right, then I'm definitely not going to get this bit kind of right. It's brewed by Brewery Van Eck Duviweg. And they're based in Watau in Belgium. It's an Abbey beer, coming in at 9% ABV in a 330ml bottle. There's the, the bottle cap. Hopefully we can get this to focus. Oh, there we go, look at that. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, look at that, eh? Nice bit of smoke. On the bottle opening, beer in the glass. <clears throat> Always important to shake up any sediment that's in the bottom of the bottle with beers like this. Get it in your glass. Gravity always plays a part. You're always going to have a bit of sediment fall into the bottom of the bottle. I always think get that sediment in, there's more flavour. More flavour to be had. Um, we got a one to two finger, slightly off white head. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking chestnutty, hazy coloured ale with, yeah, there's definitely bits of sediment floating around this. Uh, it's definitely a bottle conditioned beer. Uh, before I get the aroma, I want to say a massive thank you to our channel sponsors, beersreviewed.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world, literally all over the world. Check them out in the description box of this video, beersreviewed.co.uk. On with the beer review. Let's get this aroma then. I'm looking forward to this one. I've not had any kind of, kind of prior beer, Abbey beer, Trappist beer for a long, long, long time. It smells so good. It smells so good. Peppery, spicy. Licorice. Touch of vanilla. Biscuity, bready. You get a slight sense of that classic Belgian yeast. A little bit of dryness in there. Oh, should we get in? Enough with the nose, let's get to the flavour. Cheers everyone. Ooh. Ooh, that's really interesting. Really, really interesting. Almost like head bending interesting. Well, it is head bending interesting because on one stage you're getting a real like whack of tart dark fig, prunes, plums, and then but you're getting lo quite a bit of biscuit malt at the same time. Then you're picking up the yeast. Oh, it's an interesting one. Licorice, brown bread. Oh, that's so... Um, that's bonkers. That's a bonkers, bonkers beer. Because I'm picking up um, a slight, whether it's intended, whether it's the batch, but a slight funkiness. It's almost slightly funky and woof, you know, um, like horse blankety. 
but what a complex brew at nine percent ABV. You would never, never think not not for you know if in a month of Sundays you would think that this was a nine percent ABV beer. It's drinking so so well. So the first thing you get is a little tinkle of the carbonation pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. And then this this cross between the funkiness I was talking about earlier and, and then dark fruit flavours of plum and fig and prunes. And then a beautiful biscuity kind of malt breadiness, brown bread, nuttiness, and then a dryness that comes through, and then bitterness, a little bit of bitterness on the back end, a, a peppery kind of spiciness that goes really well with that, that bitterness and that dryness. It's a beer to save it. It's not a beer that you want to rush down. It's a beer, the reason why, why of course, why I'm drinking it as quickly as I am is because I'm reviewing it, I'm tasting it for you, but this is a beer that you want to wrap your hands around and and just save you. Sit in the corner and, and, and absolutely savour it. It's very drinkable. It's another thing I want to mention about this beer. It's very drinkable for 9%. ABV. It's just so, so, so drinkable. It's just so well done. So well done. The fact that it's, yeah, you need a lot of malt. To get a beer like this, the 9% ABV, you need a lot of malt. And when you generally add a lot of malt, the more malt you add, of course, the more kind of breakfast cereal it's going to be like, you know, like, like, like porridge. The more porridge you add, you know, the thicker it gets. It's very similar with beer. If you've ever seen beer brewing, you know, this it's like stirring a big batch of porridge. And and that comes through in the mouthfeel with a lot of beers. But this is very refreshing. It's very refreshing for nine percent. It's almost thin, which is so impressive. A lovely, lovely brew. Look at it. A lovely, lovely brew. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to try my best. There's nothing here. No English at all on the back. In fact, there's more Italian than there is um, English. Bira doppio malto, which is Italian. Ah, right, here we go. Ingredients. Water, barley, malt, yeast and hops. It's lovely. That is a lovely beer. It really is. Capital Watu. 9% ABV. Belgian Abbey beer. I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.